roster is there is so incredibly humble. We had an opportunity, all of us, to sit down with them on, on Friday, and they were just so humble. I don't know how else to put it. They were confident in what they can do, yeah. but they didn't have an ego. They're like, well, listen, we're going to give it our best shot, and if we come out on top, we're going to come out on top. We're, we're going to play our hearts out. We're going to play to the best of our ability, and I really respect that about them. Yeah, I think as well for these guys, they're not only representing themselves, the team, their organization, but they've got all of Europe behind them all right now. Europe. I know Ben, obviously a big advocate who is sat <laughs> here. We see they're taking it. They're taking it home. Honestly, I, you know, I hope so too for the boys. You know, getting to know some of these, and obviously the new pickups, like you said, as Krim, and uh, we, we kind of grown to love this team and we want to see obviously success yes we want to see this dynasty as well in optic game in the green wall i think that's got that's a given yeah. that's gonna happen however eu's finest i think they are the team that maybe is the one to, to upset them if there is any yeah well you know england couldn't do it in the world cup so okay, hopefully they okay. can represent for you <laughs> that hurts that one hurts <laughs> take a look fresh. at our map bands and picks first map of the day will be impact in this series second forge bliss and reclaim if needed for the tower breaker how do you see impact playing out Impact now, the thing that, that EU's finest are going to have to do, they're going to have to not allow Optic to set the tone and set the pace of the game. All right, Optic has the best, some of the best layers in the game on their roster. They're going to have to utilize that team fire and don't take the bait because Optic, they're going to try to push you around. They are so yeah. aggressive, but you're going to have to move with a little bit of fluidity and kind of mind the rotations and that team fire. Well put for our analyst cleaner. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. In order to go to the grand finals, Optic Gaming and EU's finest Fallout Momo. Take it away. Thank you so much, Belly. And I could not be more excited for this one. Our winner's bracket final between two Titans, the Titan of North America versus the Titans of Europe. Let's bring it home here, Momo. Take it away. Let's bring it home. I like the words. Hydro, Marsh, Phelps, you crazed, and Krim are going to be going head to head with five familiar names. Summit Spencer, so Soul is explosive and praised as we get into the mix here, though. We're going to see. The initials go down, the kill feed lined up blue as Summons and Solars combine for the double craze. Does answer back here, but again, this is Optic coming out hot once more. Three down. Yep, the tables fight is going to be won by Optic Gaming, an area that they are so incredibly well versed at. Meanwhile, Craze on the other side of the map and Phelpsy, that longtime duo since the Bot Kings days in Gears of War 3, going to do some big things on the other side of the map. Krim, of course, the newest addition to this team, as Veli mentioned, putting in some work. And talking about this Optic Gaming line, just for a second, obviously they come in, obviously you're talking about maybe a dynasty in the creation, the five best players on the game. You've kind of told me a lot about this squad. For, for a team like EU's Finest going into this, is, is this just kind of basing it off the, the chemistry? You know, what you have as a team, you know, forgetting the game attacks that are in front of you. You know, how do you overcome of what is the green wall right now? Yeah, you know, honestly, EU's Finest has always had this swagger about them when it comes to playing Optic. They're the only team that plays them with just pure aggression. It's important that they come out strong. I got to say, Cleaner had a little nugget of excellence and one of the things, a lot, of, a lot of nuggets dished out by Cleaner today. But <laughs> you mentioned they have to start strong, and that is so incredibly important, important to knock Optic off their back foot foot, start strong, and then, of course, you have to finish after that. And maybe doubt themselves just a little bit. I'm sure Optic won't be a team to do that, but if you can get a couple of rounds on the board, it'd be nice to see. However, round number one, still ongoing. We see Optic Gaming in the lead, both by Hills and Skull, roughly leading by around 30 points, as we do see Hydro and Rotating Round, looking to maybe put the pressure on C. Of course, he used Finest, represented it in red, and Hydro, a player to get it well controlled. This is looking good for EU's finest here, as we do see a couple of the players rotating around here, trying to go for that domination. It's going to be broken for a brief second, but this is great stuff from EU's finest here. You see three players go down, and Cleaner, they said they need to start hard, and my goodness, they are starting to do so. Hydrone, Krim, lighting up that main stage in round number one. And baby, EU's finest, take it away. And look at them getting hyped. This is a team that usually stays calm, stays cool, stays collected, but they know the importance of that first round, especially stealing it in the way that they did. I'm starting to get the chills here, Momo. I think we're in for a good match. <laughs> EU's finest versus the Titans and Optic Gaming. If you are a fan of this European squad, you're getting excited in the chat right now. I'm getting excited here on this casting test for sure. We're going to see that respawn, of course, increase by two. I think it was the marks that dropped there as we got briefly taken away, but scoreboard straight away you see Krim doing damage five kills in round number one only a death to his name of course that being that 10 second time dead and we're going to kick things off once again here we go. This EU's finest roster really does match up with Optic pound for pound so well. Hydrone to summons, I think, is a very fair fight in the 1v1 home hill spots. Hydrone, in my opinion, has always been the summons of EU and plays that spot incredibly well. 
Okay, now getting into the action. Down on the floor with Solis. He's yeah. going to pick up his buddy, and he's got the teammates to surround as well. Who's going to be getting those first kills? He's going to go down, and he's off to gaming. Three do fall. One will be back up, and that one will be Phelpsy here. But again, a great start for Optic Gaming. Mental picking up a kill off screen onto Hydra, and that marks her. It's in the hands of Explosive here. Yep. I know we've been talking about predictions all day long. I know a couple people, Blaze, Benson included, think it's going to be a close one. Momo, your thoughts? Where do you think the score is going to be in this? The end of this one, uh, I don't know whether I'm leaning towards a little bit of icy with the EU's finest gun. I can see this being a map three. I really can. And I actually think EU's finest may be able to push it here on map one. Optic Gaming, though, I do see coming out on top, booking themselves a spot in the grand final. That's the prediction I'm going to make here. Optic Gaming to take it, but that's the easy one, right? <laughs> Two to one, though. You're thinking EU's finest is going to put up quite the fight. We'll see if that comes to fruition. This Optic squad is looking so incredibly good. A lot of people wondering, if any team, any roster of five and Gears of War can beat them at this point, we'll see if this EU's finest squad can keep the magic alive. Keep in mind here, quick fun fact, every single member of this current Optic squad lost to EU's finest. Echo Fox lost 2-1 to one in Vegas. Optic lost 2-0 to zero in Vegas. So EU's finest must be feeling good as they have their number right now. I mean, this is it. You know, starting strong, clean the highlight on the desk before we go into this. And this is going to give them the confidence, just that, you know, almost pat on the back that, you know, that, you know, sixth player the coach will have given or, you know, whoever will be back home cheering for them. These guys have the natural skill. Oh my goodness, three go down, two for the hands of Optic Game and make it three. And the boys of EU's finest coming out real hot here as Explosive, the last one alive, rotating round here. He may be able to just stop this or, or, or at least kind of put it at bay for a second, but is he going to be able to stop the domination? He's going to go down as well. That is not looking good. Here we go. EU's finest is going to backtrack. Is going to be looking for that A hill once again. He's going to be challenged once more, but Phelpsy Krim being able to find a couple of kills will be shut down. They take the lead, but they are not going to get the triple cap. And what's important right now is that they do not get wiped. You can't let Optic Gaming counter with a triple cap opportunity of their own. So I want to see some strong defense here. It's going to be tough as they have a numbers disadvantage. High drone cannot go down in that scenario. Needs to value his life. He's going to leave Craze in a very tough spot. Crazed gets get down as well, and a little bit of a tee back from Mental. Unprecedented. Something we don't see often from Mental. You know he started to feel himself. He's wearing a bandana, by the way. This is a different Mental on Championship Sunday. I, I saw a picture on social media. This guy looks swagged out for sure. <laughs> He's feeling confident. And you know what? I don't blame him with the four players surrounded him. He should be. Here we have Optic Gaming, though. They are a little bit behind. They will win from two hills, of course, but they need to maintain that. Looking at this minimap, though, this overhead. Three players pushing towards either. I say it's going to be outnumbered the EU's finest, so I expect them maybe to backtrack, roll away, stay alive. Marsh is actually going to go down. Not great. Yeah, interesting push here. They decided to go for the home and away hill push to break and neutralize because they do need to get at least two caps instead of pushing B, which I'm not sure if that's the right strategy, but this B hill break is going to be crucial. Mental needs to go down. Craze versus Mental in the one versus one. Explosive gets caught with his pants down. Of course, Mental wins that one against Craze. The explosive full red keeps it alive, and they need to get a break. Mental's going to get the break on time. 208 to 205, and Optic Gaming is going to hold on. We talk about confidence. That is a boost to the ego there. Optic Gaming seal it at the very end, but again, you cannot rule out this is squad of EU's yeah. finest here. That is close again to go 2 0 Would have been a real, real good start here. But Optic Gaming maybe starting something special here yesterday. We saw the very vocal praised on the main stage. Dishing out some very harsh words towards Echo Fox. <laughs> oh, yes, that went viral, to say the least. And Deserto featured in one of the articles, and people absolutely love the passion come out of that man on your screen on the far left. Praised Z coming from the Bronx. Nothing but passion from him. And now that round came down to that one versus one, Mental versus Crazed. Because Mental was able to win it, he was able to rotate B and break that B hill. And now, big decision, EU's finest drops a boom shot on the opposite side of that B hill. Okay, so boom shot very early on. Thoughts about that straight away fallout? Is this them trying to make a power play? Is this confidence or a strategy coming in? What are we looking for? Obviously, a lot of players will be heading towards it. Yep, EU's finest has always loved that hectic fight, but that's the thing, so does Optic Gaming. It's going to be tough to go against the likes of Explosive Solars, Praised, and Co. in that fight. We'll see who comes out on top, but it's going to be a battle, that's for sure. A bloodbath over for that boom shot. Marsh going to get taken out early by Mental, who's performing so well right now. Of course, as I say that, he gets headshotted, but Mental with the bandana, channeling his inner ninja with a great performance here in map number one. So far, so good here. However, only one hill has been captured. That's B down low by Optic Gaming. 
Explosive rotating round here. Going to be trying to get an A as well off spawn. No one at the Sea Hill, but who makes the kills? This wave is so, so important. I tell you what, Praise and Explosive are going to kick things off with a double. And this is looking likely here for Optic Gaming to shut it down. Is there anyone able to stop him? The answer is no. Two rounds back to back. Optic Gaming starting to gain some momentum. And that makes me question that boom shot placement last round. You went toe to toe with Optic two rounds in a row. That second round easily could have been yours if 1 1 versus 1 went your way. Why place a boom shot, which is a little bit of a desperation play, especially when Optic is so good in those fights? Not sure if I agree with that decision, as Optic was just completely dominant in that boom shot round. There it is, the trophy that all 10 players on the main stage will want to be hoisting up at the end of this one. Winner of this bags themselves a top two finish. They'll be going into, of course, that grand final. Loser will drop down, but again, $100,000 going to that first place team. 250000 overall. Unthinkable amounts of money for some of the age of these kids. Yeah. All said, it's going to be a blocked out weapon respawn on the other side of the map. So you find us, feels confident with that boom shot fight. Let's catch the action. And this side is we're going to hop on with Phelpsy of EU's finest. Lancer Fire's going to come in. Mental's going to get tagged up here, but he's finally going to back out and reset. Summons, though, one of the arguably one of the best 1v1 players in the game, if not the best, wins the 1v against Krim on the other side of the map. And now, here comes the big push for Boom Shot. Right now, going in favor of Optic Gaming. Yeah, are they going to be able to pick it up here? Trades go down between Marsh and Solars. And Phelpsy looking to back down, just regain a little bit helpful. Red is actually going to be taken down by Hydro. Not what you want to see. Hydro falls as well. Two players will hit the deck. Mental takes the boom as well. And this is looking disastrous for EU's finest as we see Optic Gaming charging forward. Not a point on the board for EU's finest right now. And it doesn't look like it's going to get any better. The green wall starting to... Build it up brick by brick here. Three rounds back to back. This is what you're used to seeing from this dominant Optic squad. In my opinion, this is the greatest console esports dynasty in the making. These are the five best players in Gears of War 4 assembled on one team. It is unthinkable as to what they're going to accomplish in their tenure. It's just kind of crazy as well because we're at the start of it, but we can see it so early. Some of these dynasties that are created, you know, you, you don't even see it until three victories through or a championship or a world championship, whatever it may be. But when these five come together, you know that these can create that dynasty so early on as well. So be really interested to see how these guys grow. Will they be able to back themselves? New Orleans, we'll have to wait and see. Three rounds to the good though. And as you see, Optic Gaming handling the, uh, the slain side for sure. Frag's been dropped in the cockpit. Yep, so those nades are going to give a little bit of a tool for that 1v1 fight. Krim versus Summons in the 1v. Interested that Hydron's not playing that spot. And it seems to be a slight change. Of course, this is a bit of an unorthodox impact, which might be why. But Krim versus Summons, I would like to see Hydron in that fight instead. Well, see how Krim gets on. So we stay on board with him, the Summons. <laughs> Meanwhile. He's having a little bit of fun. I think Crimson picked up the nades as well. Is he going to toss one out? The answer, no. Oh, yes, he did. I think that explodes, but Mental off screen picks up the double. Crim, actually, the last alive. He's rotating back, and rightly so. No one available here for a couple seconds as they do start to come off respawn. Phelps is going to be the first one up, followed by Marsh, but Optic Gaming again just showing how strong they are in the slain side of things. And Crim's just going to try and distract. Solars was picked off there, so he was respawning off the bat. Was not able to get the martyr kill. Mental picking up boom shot kills on the other side of the map. And this Optic squad is just looking so dominant. Look at how, how Summons plays that one versus one. He's not just flying at you. It's not just raw skill. He outpositions you, he outplays you, and he is just an amazing individual player. Yeah, it's hard to overcome this. We, we watched four rounds back to back, and all EU's finest came out hot, which is great to see by no means. Uh, but Optic Gaming, they just seem like on a roll now. This is just a, a snowball getting out of control. And again, sometimes, you know, it's mental one round. It's summoned to the next. Soul is that, you know, any single player can go off on this Optic Gaming roster, and that's what I love about it. Such versatile individuals. However, if EU's finest stand a chance, they need to start pushing back here. These rounds are ending way too quick. Yep. And here we go. The decision to block out that boom, replace it with Incense. Smart call. You wonder what this map would look like if that boom shot was never placed. Again, don't think that was the best decision for EU's finest, and it definitely did cost them three straight rounds for Optic Gaming since that boom was placed. Okay, well, let's jump on board. We see a 3-2 split on both squads here. Is EU's finest going to look on to take those incense as well? Maybe... The change of pace and taking that boot will, of course, stop the tempo. Getting a little bit too out of control. He's finest trying to be that one to control the tempo and tell you what, that is what you want to see. You talked about Hydron over Krim and he actually comes out on top here, Fallout. Yeah, big 1v from Hydron. 
but I think he matches up very, very well. Krim is better in the middle of the fights here, and that's what's going to actually flip back too. Like the change in strategy here for EU's finest, of course, with the weapons changing. Well, three down for Optic. As we do see a strong, strong start from EU's finest, and this is what we saw in round number one. Not necessarily a quick round, however, we're seeing something. Signs of light as A and B now going in control of EU's finest. Hydron has been down, but it'll be looking to get back up. Not going to happen though, explosive headshot onto him. Looks like nades are going to be picked up by Marsh. He's going to rotate those as soon as possible. As someone's going for a break, not going to get it. Smoke grenade flies through, and now Praise is actually going to push this. They know they can't just break that hill. They need to apply some pressure. Praise with a little bit of a, of a bait there. Smart decision from him to allow summons to, uh, to decap that hill. And now here comes the big fight. Mental pushing a 1v2 like it's nothing, of course, with the support of his teammates, and he's going to pick off both. Absolutely insane. And honestly, he does it with such confidence. It's like the right thing to do, but any other player may struggle. Optic Gaming, though. Pushing forward, putting the pressure on. They are down on points here, but they're starting to gain that control. Hydro oh. down and out. Phelpsy is going to be coming off spawn very, very soon here. Marsh putting that cover and fire in as well. But the domination potential on. Are we going to see a break? That's the question. B's going to go in favor. C will be broken. And Optic Gaming will have control of two. Well played by Optic. A beautiful uh, marks a headshot right there as well. A bit ago from Crazed. And they're going to win that B-Hill fight. Three dead right now. It's round six. This should be the round for EU's finest. They have to play their cards right here. But they have a five on two numbers advantage. You want to see them take that correction of four on two with Phelpsy dead. You want to see him take those numbers instead. Crazed actually is going to go down. The Lancer Fire comes through. Praised gets taken out here. So making a four on one for the time being, and respawns are coming through. Yeah, we're seeing a couple of players being picked up that being crazed as well. And we do see EU's finest almost making that decision. Do they push? Do they hold back? And they're deciding to retreat for a second. They don't want to overextend. The respawns, of course, being so, so punishing at this time here in round number six. Yep. Grim on your screen, rotating. He's taking a little bit of damage there as he rolls across to B, but he will be okay. That's unfortunate. You want to see him take that four on two, but easier said than done. It's a, a strong defense from Solars, who is positioned in the pocket up top by Spawn and really fended off that push from EU's finest. One down comes in. Here comes the revive chain from Optic. Insin's going to come through as well. He wants that headshot, anticipating a revive. Instead, Mental picks up a 1v against Craze, despite being under so much pressure. Optic Gaming, wolf packing so well, but the, the support from Felsey is too strong. I tell you what, Felsey's putting a lot of damage in there, and those are the ones that really count, the ones that maybe not recovered. Will put onto that scoreboard. But Krim on your screen, he's surely got to go down. The amount of bullets being put up, but he's got Felsey right behind him, still weak. 2v1 right now. He does have support as well, but no, not going to happen. Someone's puts him to bed. There. Cavalry comes in, and we do see things traded out. Keep your eyes on the top left, though, as the score keeps on creeping up to that 200 mark. And of course, that all important 210. He's finest down by three right now. What a heads up play from Phelpsy right there to take out his mark. So full red, and that way he was able to quickly full red his opponent that was Solars and allow his teammates to pick up the kill. I know it seems small, it seems subtle, but most players would have kept their shotgun out right there and wouldn't have been able to do much. Heads up play from Phelpsy. That's what really separates him as a top three player in Europe. Here we go. Solars, he's going to be off that respawn right now, but in the lead is EU's finest. Looking to close this one out. They should be able to do this with just the one, but they're actually got B and C as well in control. Craze picking up kills. That's a big, big incend kill there, but he's actually going to take himself out of the game, which isn't going to help anyone. There it is. Another round for EU's finest. And that makes you wonder, should woulda, coulda's definitely do exist in this sport. If they did not place that boom shot, mm -hmm. what would have happened in that first half, Momo? Really, really a costly mistake there for EU's finest. I mean, that's why maybe they'll learn, learn either the second side of things, whether it's in map two, but... They're, they're working out the kinks because in Europe, maybe these guys put the boom down and it works beautifully for them. However, yeah. they're not. They're in New Orleans against Optic Gaming. Uh, and these guys, obviously, especially the experience and the likes of, you know, Phelpsy, Craze, the likes. These guys have played on this main stage against these players for so, so long. They know about this. Yep. They tried something, didn't work, blocked it out. Let's hope they can bounce back here. Four to two right now, Optic Gaming just three rounds away from solidifying map one. My hope is that they... Don't make that same decision here. Something tells me they won't. They'll learn from it. Hydro with a good early kill on Summons again. Seems to have his number here just a bit in this one. As he, it, again, matches up pretty well. You got to give it, you know, it's hard to match up against Summons. Again, the best 1v1 player in Gears. Hydro does a pretty solid job of it. Here we go. Still 10 players all up and alive. And kicking, I say that explosive taken down. Headshot coming in from Marsh as well. See his solos just bob and weave between the pillar, looking to rotate round, help his teammates down by E. And of course, that ABC flipped on its head now as we see that middle hill E. 
Crazy to get back up over there, actually. So despite the kills going in favor of EU's finest, it is Optic with a huge score lead. They haven't been able to cap hills, and Hydro's not going to get the kill here. Mental is going to take out one. Actually, it's a team kill, and Solars takes out one, gets the revive on Praise, who taps himself up, actually, and Optic Gaming somehow, wow, somehow turns chicken poop into chicken soup right there. I tell you I'm what. So I had to drop it. And you did. <laughs> I'll take one over the other for sure. Solars is going to down one. Explosive finishes that one off, and here we go. Optic Gaming starting to rally, starting to pick up the pace. We are starting to see them control this game right now, or control this round, should I say, here. As Praise is looking to roll one out, help his teammate, but D still in control of EU's finest, and hopefully brought up is that overhead. We can see all five players of EU's finest at that top side, almost deciding where to go, how to break here, but Optic Game is such a hard team to break through. Well played by Praise right there. Again, this round, the initial was won by EU's finest. Praise should not have been allowed that long. The reason he died instantly right there is because it was his third down. On your third down, you die instead of going DBNO or down but not out. That's how long he's been alive in this round. Very well played by Praise. And now Optic in control with the two cap. Here's their defense strategy. It's going to be a heavy e hill break push that's coming through from EU's finest. Optic just trying to set up for this e hill The break has already come in. It's going to help but it hasn't stopped the bleeding entirely as that lead is just so significant. And this revive change is going to be way too strong again. Yeah, that's the problem here. They're able to pick each other up literally and physically here as we are going to see Marsh take down Summons. That's one player put on a timer, but of course, Respawn is down. Back down to Tenon as well. Explosive trying to find one. Is going to run into trouble. That'd be Marsh. We are going to see two hills go in favor of EU's fans, but they need more. They need to either neutralize that F hill or go for that triple cap. We flick over to the other side of things, and D's going in control of Optic Game, and the rotation is spot on, and they should be able to close this one out. And the, the response are going to come in, so Craze plays that well, knowing that Hydron is on the flank here, and he's going to get shut down by Mental. Mental has, has had Craze's number for this entire map so far. 5-2 to two is the score. Optic looking strong, and I'm seeing some, some good things from EU's finest. Just the uh, inability to kind of capitalize on their momentum has really been the issue. So the question is, obviously, for Optic Gaming right now, they're sitting pretty, they're 5-2 up. It's, uh, it's looking good to take map number one. Where is the challenge from EU's finest? Do they have to maybe target an individual? Do they have to change the, the strategy in regards to the weapon drops? Or is this just kind of running into just a better team and it's just a fact? Like, it, it is just five players who are outskilling you right now. Yep, honestly, it's not necessarily what EU's finest is doing horribly wrong. It's what Optic okay. does so well. I think it's the, the latter point that you made there. Optic is just such a strong team. I, I did mention the ability to capitalize on their initials, take their numbers a little bit better. There's a little bit of a lack of fluidity there that maybe they could benefit from. Hopefully the coach is keeping a close eye and able to help them in that regard but you want to see them capitalize off of those initials because they're doing a good job winning some of them but look at the kills category you're just getting out slayed at this point I, I think that's it and that's my question obviously you know sometimes a team can be doing everything they can and just being outplayed but 18 kills from Mel mental very very stop uh, it's very very hard to stop a player like that when he's got a got on a roll of course mental one of the best in the game for sure I mean optic game is lined up look at it undisputably well, nice talent for sure, but he used finest. They bring a lot of talent to the uh, to the table too. Completely agree. That E Hill is going to be capped by Optic. Again, playing the objective so well as Optic, while also capitalizing in the kills category. Slaying definitely favoring Optic, and I tell you what, Hydro's ran right, right into trouble here. You're going to be able to see a pickup there coming in from Explosive. He's going to help out his teammate as Hydro does fall. Respawn still low. Incend isn't going to connect. So no kills have been picked up for quite some time here. That E-Hill was broken. It's only a slight lead for Optic. Summons going to push up. Sorry, Solar's going to push up, try to get something going. Here comes the Optic push. Look how well coordinated they are. Almost like a general and army is praised right there. Or sorry, that was Mental leading the way, but not going to come out in his favor. Praise goes down as well. So for the first time, Optic making not the perfect mid-round push. It's very often, not very rare that you'll see errors come through from Optic, but they, of course, are trying to do something. Let's do something trying to finish this game off. Another couple of rounds and they'll find themselves a map in the back here. Feltsy looking to bait and switch with a player. Trying to regain some of that health as well. The Lance Fire coming in. He's going to escape with his life for now. Going to slap another magazine in that Lancer here. Reload, regain, and just try to take a back foot here because Optic Gaming, they're going to come right back at them. Trying to take control over. There it is the E hill, and we're gonna see Mental yep. already pick it one player up, that's gonna be Krim. And that is the same exact push through the mid that they were hoping for. This time, they have the numbers advantage and it works out in their favor, so Optic doing a great, great job calling that mid-round transition, and really almost like a flying V right there, able to pick off two, and Optic in a good spot to win this round. 
Here we go. Hydro on your screen. He's going to take down one. Oh, doesn't finish him. He's going to have to go back for more. Picks him up and he's going to find himself in a world of trouble. Does he have the teammates to pack him up? He's got the movement for sure. And look at that for a shot. Beautifully done. Mental's going to go down. Picked up by Hydro as well. And now we're going to see EU's finest survive for a little longer. The game is so closely tied here, but Solus letting it burn, letting it rip here. Hydro to Crim, they're going to fall. Hydro just played that so incredibly well. Meanwhile, Craze said, it's my turn, takes out two on his own, and they are just causing havoc in the spawn of Optic Gaming. Craze now versus Solar. Solar's going to come out on top, finally shutting him down. But Hydro and Craze may have single-handedly just won them that round by opening up an opportunity at E-Hill for EU's finest to secure the two cap. Huge, huge plays from Hydro and Crazed. Wow, that was beautiful. Uh, and the crazy thing is, I want to go back to the point of the boom shot. The boom's been taken off now and we are starting to see you use finest, like go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Maybe get one up for, a, you know, 50 seconds, then go down for 30. You know, these guys are going back and forth, but I do think that boom shot was a vital error. And Optic Gaming starts to run away with this. Soul is on your screen though, trying to make something happen. He's going to neutralize that F hill, which of course will mean Optic oh, no. Gaming could actually take the lead here with the two hills. Optic does they can win take it. off of two. And they really Realize that so smart from mental to back out and reset value his life doing quick math there to recognize all we need is two hills to win this one mental if he can pull up a kill here that would be huge he's gonna get taken out 207 is the magic number and they're not gonna get there optic gaming gonna steal around clean sweep right off their feet right there from EU's finest what great plays after Hydro and craze do everything that they can to try and make it happen unfortunately for them they're not able to finish and again you just see so calm on the main stage, that being praised there, just taking each round in his stride. And shot to the ladies of Optic out there in the crowd, supporting their team. There you see the man himself. Oh, captain, my captain. Gilbert, AKA Explosive, arguably the best in-game leader in Gears history at this point. Such a fun player to watch and so much respect for him. Just want to point out, Explosive, 98 seconds dead. You wow. look across the board and everyone else, we're talking 130s minimum, 140s for most, 150s as well. What does that say about Explosive? And what does that boom shot also say? <laughs> Get ready for Havoc as the boom shot spawn. Over at tables this time, so it's going to be even crazier of a fight. Explosive, of course, such an impact player for his team. Oh my gosh, Marsh barely misses an opportunity to take out Summons there. Going to go for the wraparound shot, takes him out. Huge opportunity against Explosive. Easier said than done as Explosive wins that fight. And now, Hydro was able to slip away with that boom shot. Is bringing it, rotating it all the way through spawn here, trying to get to a better spot. There you go, boom. It's going to be let rip, and Hydro is going to be the one to take down Explosive. For that one this time, they do get control of that boom shot. It is starting to pay off for them. However, very early stages of round number nine here. Optic Gaming could make this the last round here of map number one. And so far, Optic has yet to lose more than two rounds in a map in the championship bracket. Wow. Not saying it's not over yet, of course. Good opportunity right now for EU's finance to change that, but they are playing so incredibly well. Nice boom shot from Hydro to shut things down. Put that cover in fire. It's like the support role, but also picking up the kills as well. Hydro, a very impactful player here for EU's finest, as we are seeing Krim full red. And Optic Gaming are actually uh, controlling two of the hills, but it's a surprise if EU's finest starts to take a little bit more map control, of course. With that boom shot, they managed to pick up a couple of kills. And there we go. And, and you'll keep in mind, we, we credited the boom shot uh, for, on Solars, but he was able to grab the, the hill, which got them the, almost the lead here. Huge play from Solars earlier on to grab that hill and buy them some valuable time. And now it comes down to these kills. Keep my Boomshot will be responding in about a minute. So all eyes on that Boomshot as teams are going to be rotating on that side. Of course, Ash is coach of Optic calling that out. And that's why you see players rotating towards that side. Yeah, rotate round, play for those power weapons here. Optic Gaming back in control here, but they are down by around 10 points. As we do see, he used Finest hit 80 now and climbing, but Phelps, on your screen, he does have Marsh, and he'll be looking to pick him back up. He's got Craze as well, and there we go. Doesn't want to judge anything before he takes that kill here, and his teammates will be picked back up, and here we go. We use Finest, we'll be going right back at it. All tied up pretty much at 100 points each. Solars at top table. Nice play. Can he get the double here? Good support comes in from Phelps. Not going to be enough, though, because the revive chain's going to come through, but Craze takes out one. He takes out two. Craze is starting to heat up here in this second half. Was a little bit quiet in the first, but this is the Craze we're used to seeing. King Craze himself with a great performance here in half number two. And Phelps, he's now got the boom as well, and even though Craze might be able to finish it right here, right now, all the players coming off, will they be able to challenge it? It looks like they'll just break it for a second. Not going to be enough because we see EU's finest taking it away. And again, the boom shot was a very vital part of that. 
That is why they put it down the first time. It didn't work out for them. On the flip side of things, when we change the halves, A, B, and C to D, E, and F, it seems to be working out a little bit better. However, they're on the brink of losing this map. One more round, of course, to Optic Gaming. And we'll be starting up map number two shortly. Yep, you see Craze on the far left of your screen right there. He is the X Factor for this squad. You we're used to seeing him drop 30, 40 bombs. Such a good individual player. And what a career he, he has had in Gears Esports ever since he burst onto the scene in Gears War 3, teaming with Reaction back then. Now Crazed has cemented himself as arguably the best player in European history. 14 kills right now for him as he is really heating up. Certainly is, and as we get into the meat of this map here, six to three, EU's finest. They need to start a real, real comeback here to take it against Optic Game, and a lot of fans back home will want to see this one end. However, Hydro in the middle. Summons. Those initials are very important. Mental is going to answer back, but it's that boom again. He's got it, and he's got away with his life. Yep, needs to be careful though. Marsh in a tough spot here. I'm sorry, that's Crazed who needs to support a beautiful boom on Mental. Hydro has been performing. He can save his teammate's life, and he's going to miss that boom. Unfortunately, I thought with the active he'd be able to get the kill. I don't. No hippie had active on it, and now he's a 1v1 against Solars. A tough fight for sure, as this, this duo Phelpsy over here, as Explosive's gonna turn on him. Wow, that's disgusting to see it from Phelpsy's point of view, but Phelpsy's gonna finish the kill, and we are gonna see no hills actually captured for the first couple of seconds here. A lot of kills being made, though. A lot of map control has been gained, and on your screen is Phelpsy looking just to, uh, oh. just to go away and attack this, but that's not gonna work out either for yeah. the plays down by E. Yeah, Krim a little bit ill-advised right there. Getting a little baited by the down from Praise. And Praise with the Kobe Insign is going to connect. Craze just saw his life flash between his eyes as that Insign hit him straight between the eyes. Nicely placed from him on board of Marsh now. Key 1v1, he's going to get tagged up here. Full red. Can he come up with a big kill? No. Solars will come out on top in that one. Solars, a brilliant player in himself as well. Hydro and he's in trouble. And now we see Optic Gaming. They start to control the map, the two hills that they have right now. Two go down, it's Hydro and a march on those timers. Feltsy's down as well. Is this where Optic Gaming run through, run over and destroy? That is the question. Summons is going to find himself one, but a 2v1 right in the hill as well. There's so much smoke, no one knows what's going on at this point. But Craze denied. Mental comes up trumps, and that is going to be another round for Optic Gaming. And that is all they need to close out map number one. Fist bumps all round for the green wall. Captain himself. and. You really felt it there, Momo. Any time Optic gave even an ounce of an opportunity for EU's finest to grasp some air, they completely swallowed it and took it away from them. Can't even breathe right there as EU's finest. Small opportunity that they couldn't capitalize on, unfortunate for them. At this point, you just have to ask yourself, is Optic Gaming really just that dominant now? They've done it all throughout this tournament, and now to one of our favorites, EU's finest. Now listen, I was kind of questioning that boom shot placement. Typically, I'm an avid believer in, listen, play your strengths, but when you're playing against a team like Optic Gaming, and you know that they have strong initials, especially on, on impact, I maybe would have played it out maybe another round or so before dropping such a heavy power weapon. I, I, I'm with their confidence that they would win the fight, but maybe a little bit more strategic, kind of see what play style Optic was kind of throwing at them, play a little bit slower and, and more patient. Well, when you look at EU's Finest, that's been really their strong point. EU's Finest, they've gotten this far with their boom shot strategies and just having that organized fight right there, which is what they excel at Fallout. Do you agree with Cleaner or disagree? I completely agree with Cleaner in this part. I understand, play to your strengths, don't play to the other team's weaknesses, but at the same time, what's worked, you know, it was working well for them, the regular fight. It was only one-to-one. -one. They barely lost that second round. Give it a few more opportunities. And not only that, when they placed that boom shot, why have Krim fight the one versus one on the other side of the map? I understand you have strats, you build things out, but I don't agree with that decision to have Krim play against summons. I think you gotta stick Hydro in there, even if you haven't practiced that online. Yeah, yeah and just be, be cognizant of who you're actually playing against and you're gonna have to change some tactics change some strategies oh yeah most definitely and guys stay tight we'll go over to map two after we learn a little bit more about opti game first place is the only thing that's on all of our minds anything other than first would be considered a disappointment and I think I speak for the whole team when I say that having such a stacked team honestly the pressure is there, but we've done nothing but live up to the hype. You know, we're kind of here just to embrace that and, you know, run away with the, the momentum that we have. We're not really worried about any specific team going into this event. Uh, the competition is at its highest level since the game has come out. I feel like there's multiple teams that have the ability to take down, like, anyone. It's a new dynamic, it's a new vibe. 
and I think everybody just loves being on this team right now. Two players that got a lot of shine. This event was Solars and Praise being the newest members of Optic Gaming, but they keep on winning. What does that say about their core? Well, real quick, I want to touch base before that on something that Explosive just said. There are so many teams, and the skill gap is just closing. There are so oh, yeah. many teams that it's, it's potential upsets everywhere. And that's something that we didn't really see in Season 1. We see these teams really working together and kind of closing the gap. Now, notice he didn't say, he, he didn't include Optic in that, um, you know, dethroning them. But it, it, his confidence and just the fact that he's recognizing that this scene is just continuing to grow, I, I enjoyed it. Yes, and, you know, Optic Gaming, they're just proving their dominance. He used Finest, the last team to stop them before they reached that grand final. Is it possible? I think it most definitely is. The used finest have shown those moments of brilliance. It's just been so consistent with that. It's very difficult against a team like Optic Gaming. It's great to see these guys come out hot. They win round one. The rounds that they did win, they look great in. But the rounds that they're getting beat at sometimes, it's like a minute, minute and 20 seconds. It's very quick. It's very fast. And that's what Optic Gaming does. They see a hole in the defense and they literally run straight through it. They put it down and destroy you. Optic Gaming, they're looking very hot here. Yes, slow it down just a little bit. Finest catch up and tie things up with Optic Gaming here on Force Bliss. Fallout of Momo, take it away. Okay, well, let's kick things off here once again with Optic Gaming. EU's finest winner bracket final here. MLG New Orleans. Brought to you, like you said, by myself, Momo, and the wonderful Fallout guiding us through all the action. Shout out to the observers backstage, though, gliding you through all this beautiful spectacle in front of you. Hydron's going to kick it off with that initial first down summons. Keep in mind here, this was EU's finest pick. Forge Blitz, they like how they fare in this one. And meanwhile, you see at the bottom of your screen, five to five, neck and neck, our Echo Fox and Ghost Gaming. What a loser's bracket this has been. Wow. EU United versus Ghost Gaming close. Echo Fox versus Ghost Gaming looking even closer. Yeah, and you've got to think as well, loser of this will drop down into that loser bracket final. They're probably going to play one of these teams. It's going to be very difficult to say the least. However, jumping back on board with Opti Gaming and the boys from Europe here. Who is going to be able to pick up round number one? Rolling straight into trouble, though. Martian Craze are going to capitalize on the mistakes there. Mental and Explosive are going to fall down. Right now, up to game and leading in the hill department. However, trailing just by five points. And no one's actually going to pick up that kill on Summons. Finally, there you go. Hydra's going to pick it up. Incinerator is going to be pressed. That's going to be about 10 plus seconds where you can't step inside that area. B Hill being broken. Craze getting pushed, but look at the support from Optic. Gonna shut that down and oh, a misplay again. As soon as Go Eus Finest gets a, some opportunity, Optic just completely shuts it down. Still explosive, picking up kills. That's three down here. And we're gonna see some answer back race and Souls actually gonna fall, but Mental shuts down Krim and wow. just like that here, we are gonna see the domination come in. And quite surprising as well, kind of how that went down. A lot of slain going forward, back and forth, of course, at the start here, but a triple cap comes in. And there you have it, round one is over. And in the blink of an eye at that, there was a five on two in favor of EU's finest. And Optic is able to counter that quickly to win the round. That is just so frustrating to play against. You don't even know how to fix that. And now they have a decision to make with the weapon placement. Again, we're a bit critical of that boom shot placement last game. Looks like they're feeling good about it in this one. Of course, this is a little bit different, though. They <laughs> lost that round quite decisively. And I think it's a little yes. bit more acceptable in this yeah. situation than uh, game number one, where you really saw some even rounds. Well, there you have it. Ten kills on the side of Optic Gaming. Just six on the side of EU's finest. The slain side of things is going to be interesting for sure. I'm so excited to see what happens with Boom. I'm expecting a lot of smoke. Who's going to get those initials? Let's find out right now as we jump on board with Marsh. He's looking to hit pretty much the hot flag, and there you have it. One shot to Mental, and he finds it. Now we can start the pinch as well. An explosive. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. Soul is two, and that is going to be three down. EU's finest. They're going to grab that Boom. They're going to grab the kills, and it works perfectly. Yeah. A lovely strategy. Agreed, and that's why you love that decision they're confident with it and i like that i like that decision this time around of course a different scenario here in map two it's gonna pay off well for them crim taking out praise and now opportunity see hill they need to rotate that boom shot there and pick up some kills mental though is gonna get taken out nice job that's exactly who you want to take out with that boom shot and that easy kill but you can't let explosive do that he's gonna take out two actually with the team kills coming through from crazed oh on your screen is crazed here as he is starting to rally he's got another kill to his name starting to push forward trying to get that triple cap looking likely to do so praise is going to get in but it's going to be a nice straight away it's one by one you're running into your death trap and mental on his knees no head no prayer for that round there it is a couple knocks come through for eu's finest and i love that round breaking it down they place the boom shot which they love to do they love their strategy for that exact scenario they run a very 
very good mid-map mid push, grab that boom, and you're able to use that boom to take out Mental and win the round. Well done, but now Optic has a chance to counter. And they're going to play some marks I'm seeing on screen right now, so expect the marks that would be lethal in the hands of the likes of anyone on Optic Gaming. <laughs> So round uh, round two does go in favor of EU's finest, much like map one, you know, things tied here. Again, the boom shot is going to be uh, where you see a lot of the play goes down. You're going to see one go up top to the control room either side. This is going to be a bit more spread out here. Last time it was a, a bit of a bloodbath here and a smoke fest in the middle. Let's see if we're able to capitalize on that. Yeah, Craze decided to play that passive, going for L triggers instead of trying to get in there and save his teammate. Dodging some good shots right now. Solar's going to go down here. Couple good shots put in. One more goes down. Full red right now is that member of Optic Gaming mid-map, Solars. He's gonna go take go get taken out. You cannot die here if you're crazed. And as I say that, Praised takes him out. Boy, does that get complicated saying those two <laughs> five times fast. Praised and Crazed going at it one to one. And you do see this time Praised come out on top. That beam for Optic Gaming. You are seeing both home hills in obviously possession, but it's all about who is able to get this mid-map control, who's able to take B. Still have to wait and see for that one, but right now Marsh in these pillars, we going back and forward. I don't know who grabbed that boom shot. I'm trying to go for some pistol play here is Marsh. If they're gonna down one, that's explosive. He doesn't realize it though. So now takes on his Lancer, gets some good shots on Solars. Great angle from Marsh. He's gonna get pushed though. He is tagged up full red. Trying to get his health back and misses the one shot. Connects for the second. Here comes Summons though, flying into the fight. Explosive is somehow still alive. Despite however much work Marsh was doing, a team kill comes through. That's gonna be costly, but Phelpsy tries to make up for it. Marsh with a beautiful back A. And EU's finest is hanging on here in this fight against Optic. Explosive is gonna go down and it'll be finished off as well. Boom, that's still finest up. looking so, so strong here. And hello, Phelpsy picking up the boom. Five kills and six down. Phelpsy playing a little bit of a support role in this one. And man, that was the longest fight for a boom <laughs> shot that I think I've ever seen. Finally, it's gonna be Phelpsy that picks it up. And rather than rotating an A side and trying to pick up some kills using their numbers, he's gonna actually sit over there. They're confident with the two cap setup. Look at Optic though, they're going for an away hill push right now. That's their strategy, playing for Sea Hill, and it doesn't look like many members of the used fighters are there to help counter. Have to wait and see to see how that one pans out. To game and trying to change things up, and you know, rightfully so. Yes, this team is a, is a star of all stars, but they are weak at some point, and that is when they match up against some of these players, which can go toe to toe with them. Win the skill department. 150 plays 125 right now. We use Finest in the lead. And with a boom shot and a five on four, I'm not sure why they're letting Optic completely have their way with the Sea Hill push without even trying to counter. I also don't agree. I'm not sure why Phelpsy is sitting over here as the anchor. He should be in the fight with that boom shot. Instead, he's anchoring down this B Hill with a massive rocket launcher in his hands. Interesting strategy. Still with the boom shot, and actually someone could get the better of him right now. Oh, oh my no. goodness, not what you want to see. He's gonna go down. Boom, wasted. And you are gonna see Solar Summons take down Crazed and Phelpsy. And this is gonna be falling apart here. B's going back in possession of Optic Gaming. The time is ticking. 184 for use finest, but they don't have a hill to their name, and Optic Gaming could come in here and sweep this away. And that, there's the, the hill cap. That's going to be a lead in favor of Optic and a round that really should have gone the way of EU's finest. Two caps to one, and you have two boom shots. It's going to be stolen again from Optic, unless Phelps can get this break and get it quickly. A hill needs to be decapped as well. It's not going to be, and that will be an Optic gaming round. Wow, what a steal from Optic. Optic Gaming, they might be picking up the rounds, but this is close for sure. This is absolutely yeah. nail biting here on the main stage. Winner bracket final, MLG New Orleans here, and these guys already solidified a top three placing. Of course, we know the prize that's on the line. 100K goes to first, and as it goes down, just jumping bit by bit, these guys will want to take that championship home, especially for the likes of your EU's finest, you know, this is uh, the first for some of these guys. Yeah, just got some interesting stats, most likely from a man prodigy out there in the stream. A huge shout out to him. Optic Gaming with a 100% win rate on this map, this event, as expected. EU's finest chose this map, only a 25% win rate on this map at this event. Four times they've played it. Meanwhile, Optic's played it twice. So interesting decisions here. And, and really what it comes down to is EU's finest is just, I, I think strategy and these these, these uh, teamwork-based decisions are, are much, much different. Meanwhile, Echo Fox actually going to win that. Seven to six in map number one. What 
a breakdown of Gears action we have today. Yeah, and you can watch the rest of that one on our Bravo stream, of course. However, here on Alpha, we're going up against Europe's finest, against North America's finest, which I don't think there's much argument about that. Mark to play coming in for Phelpsy as well. He's going to run away back down here. And already we're getting into some very interesting strategy going down. Round number four, this is where those respawns are starting to creep up as well, Fallout. Yep. Boom shot in the hands of Hydron. He takes out one. Going to get the second as well. Hydron has been on fire with that boom shot ever since Forge Blitz. Not going to catch that V-Hill just yet. Lancer out. Look at the team fire. Lasers are going to down mental. And again, AU's finest is, is playing incredibly well. They are just small decisions and teamwork-based things. Like, again, Phelpsy saying it, saying it be hit with that boom shot that has cost them a few rounds, both on this map and on impact. I, I really think they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe in a lot of ways, just missed opportunities. Missed opportunities might be one that they'll, uh, they'll kick themselves over, though. The end of today, by the end of Sunday, we will crown a champion. The favorites right here, Optic Gaming, for sure. Can someone cause upset down in the loser bracket? You've got teams like Ghost, Echo, Fox waiting to pounce. And I'll tell you what, you, win, you lose a winner bracket game, you drop down after a tough loss. It is not an easy game going against a team that have maybe won two, three, four back to back. Yep. And look at Praising team pushing B Hill with no contest. Just able to break that B Hill, capture that B Hill with ease. And now doing the same thing over towards the incinerator side as Felsi gets tacked up. Just a good job staying alive here. Big shotgun fight. Someone's going to go down. Marsh takes out explosive. That three down right now. As the meat shield's finally going to be picked up, three down for Optic, three on two, numbers advantage here in favor of EU's finest. So again, this is where you want to see them capitalize. Phelps is going to try and overextend. Spark plays from him. He needs some support now. He needs it quickly. And the cross is finally going to come through. Well played right there from Phelpsy. Beautiful play. Yeah, he's going to shut down Mental as well. And this is what you like to see from EU's finest. Testing Optic Gaming, pushing them back. And I like how Phelpsy's backed off here. Maybe looking towards maybe B to capture that one. Take that two hill advantage. They're already 25, 30 points in the lead. Good stuff from EU's finest. It seems to be paying off for them right now. However, will they be able to hang tight? We know Optic Gaming, they can break with a flick of a finger. What are they going for? Maybe a push onto A. Again, EU's finest decides not to stay at that Sea Hill there. So you're going to give Optic Gaming a chance to fight back in this one by not staying aggressive for that Sea Hill. It was a two on two fight, and Optic was pushing into your defense. I would like to see them stay a little bit longer, but of course, they do have a pretty significant lead, so I think it could be the right decision if they can clutch up these kills. See, it's all about clutching up. It can't. We see Phelpsy do that. Wow. Two kills, three kills. Krim, Phelpsy combining here. And you know what? The kills are great. But all in all, that time is ticking. A might be going down, but B is certainly safe in the hands of Crazed and Marsh here. They are going to be able to clean this one up. And EU's finest looking to tie it up here in round number four versus Optic Gaming. We have a game on our hands here. Indeed we do. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of EU's finest. Again, they are in this every step of the way. Great round from them. And ultimately, I did like that decision to back out of C, given the timing and the lead that they have. They back out, they reset, they know they went off of one hill, and they're going to secure that B hill. Thanks to some good kills from Phelpsy. Nice 1v2. Make sure that we're playing together. Round number five, just around the corner, and this is where Optic came in again. I think you said hadn't lost two rounds in a winner bracket game. This most definitely feels like their hardest test. Yep. We saw them play against Ghost. They ran through them. They mocked them almost. Right now, they're being pushed. You know, Nimbus Esports in pool play did take Optic to, I believe, five or six rounds they grabbed on them, which was very surprising. Of course, that is pool play, and Optic is known to let go of that gas pedal a little bit, but a big shot to Nimbus, e Nimbus Esports. Toddy, Demizen, Force, and Co. who came out here and performed. Most of them 16 years old competing in their first event. Oh, and it wow. is exciting. There's there, the future of Gears Esports. As we're going to have a little bit of a pause here. What a game it's been so far. So far, so good here. EU's finest, of course, needing to win this map. Otherwise, they'll be going down to that loser bracket amongst the likes of Ghost Gaming, Echo Fox. That's what they're playing for, the beautiful trophy of Gears Pro Circuit. No matter which team I am, Optic Gaming or Echo Fox, I wouldn't want to go against anybody in that loser's bracket right now. Because as you guys no, see, Echo stacked. Fox is on absolute fire. And just an update for the people that aren't aware, we do have a Bravo stream where Reshis did have over 40 kills and they lost 6-7. That's that, totally. That'd be rough, you know, but Echo Fox and Ghost, you're going to expect it to go to yeah. the very end. You know, I, maybe map game three, round 13. It's, it's, it's going to go to tiebreaker. Yeah. We saw I it against the United. It United is. wins map one, seven to six, and loses <laughs> exactly. second map and third map. So maybe history will repeat itself here 
has this been an interesting one? At this point in time, you can't count any team out, to be quite honest. Even though Optic Gaming had, you know, a really dominant win, um, he's fine and still might be able to fight back because yeah. these teams threw up here for a reason. Yeah, and Cleaner, talk to me, man. This is an analyst's dream, this game, because I feel like there's been so <laughs> many missed opportunities for uh, EU's finest as we've seen them obviously keeping up with 2-2 uh, two -two tie right now, but you, you saw that round with uh, Phelpsy staying at that B-Hill. What, what would you have liked to see them do instead? Now, the thing is, you're going to be baited. You're, Optic Gaming, there's such an aggressive presence. Be patient. Just wait for your opening. That's it. That's it. Uh, uh, right now, we're seeing a little bit of some premature pushes. You have the slaying power on EU's finest. Just kind of take a moment, wait for your team, and play your strengths. If you don't have to take a fight, don't take it. You should never be taking a fight alone. Uh -oh. um, uh -oh. All right, guys. The game is underway. Momo and Fallout take it away. Excited to be jumping back into this one. I'm bored with Hydro now. Keep in mind here. That 1v1 fight up top, Praised versus Hydrone. Hydrone, a slippery player in 1v. It's going to be Krim, though, that is going to take out summons on the other side of the map. So five on four. Keep in mind, 18-second respawn timers. That's why you see Hydrone retreating from this fight a little bit. But Praised knows he needs to neutralize. He needs his kill. I've been really impressed as well by EU's finest. Their, their initials, those those first bloods, they seem to be getting one over on Optic Gaming. Not a lot of teams can do that. So if they can keep that up, that might be the uh, the catalyst to a victory. Krim and Marsh picking up the power weapons. Yeah, Praised going to get taken out as well here. So that's three dead in this scenario. and you have boom shot you need to pressure this a hill it's a five on two with boom in your hands for the time being respawns are obviously going to come in but instead in 18 second respawn timers they're going to they're going to play it safe and hold the two cap and this time they do have boom shot over in this side of the map but these long of respawn timers you cannot give optic an opportunity to fight their way back into this one because if you give them an inch they will take a mile there you have it, Optic Gaming pushing forward. Phelps, he does have that mark, so we know how much damage it can do. And like you said, <gasps> we can see him taking it off, but Explosive denies that with the headshot. Hydro shuts him down, my goodness. A lot of smoke coming down, a lot of kills will be following. Marsh, though, utilizing that boom Don't shot. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Get the kill. There we go. <laughs> I totally thought he was going to shoot that boom. He's going to pocket it instead. Smart decision here. And a good rotation for you is finest. But again, many dead. Now, nice instant kill on summons. This is what you want to see. Close this round out. And they should be able to, actually. Because I don't know if anyone from Optics even in distance. That's going to be a three-cap domination coming in for EU's finest. They are heating up two straight rounds. That is a quick one, too. Up to gaming. Under pressure here. Being tested by the best of Europe without a doubt. Let's keep it clean. Optic Gaming showing a little bit of weakness here. Of course, to them, no sweat. They know the slaying power that they have on this team. They're just trying to get to that second half, of course, where hopefully there won't be a boom shot place, which is really favored to use finest. And speaking of that boom shot, I think they actually replaced it. We'll check, take a look at the overhead map in just a moment and show you guys that action as all, almost all five members of EU's Finest in double digits here in the slaying category. And yep, needs instead of boom. Well, the power is still there for sure. Of course, boom being a big difference in a game like this. However, frags of calls very, very crucial. Felty and explosive with that marker in hand. Interesting decision here. They decide not to fight the 2v2 up top. They're going to rotate low side. I love the strat call that comes in for EU's finest. And I love that we caught that. Big shout out to Waldo observing in the back here as they're going to send four middle, three middle instead. Crazy's going to go mid, takes out two. Praise now left in a 1v1. They have a five on three for another 15 seconds here with incense and grenades in their hands. This should be an EU's finest round, but you want to see them close it out. Push that sea hill and play aggressive. Praise is completely isolated as well. Yeah, Mental's in a lot of trouble. He's going to fall down, and this could be back to back to back rounds as we see it burning alive. His summons as we do see Krim take over the sea hill. I don't think anyone's in there. Be a challenge. Not going to happen. Another round for EU's finest. And they are well on their way to securing this one. It's looking very, very good. And I have to applaud them for that strat call. Crazed fakes high side, baits the 2v2 up top, because that's what Optic was trying to do by dismantling that boom shot in the middle and replacing it with nades. They wanted the 2v2 fight up top. They feel comfortable with it. Of course, Explosive is amazing at that fight in that area. Instead of going high side, he rotates mid, takes the 3v2 with numbers middle with a trick strat. Beautiful trick strat to close out that half. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of BU's finest. So far, so good. However, we're going to flip it on its head. We're going to restart this one. No respawn, no weapons here. I say no respawn. We're down to 10 seconds. The basic respawn. That's when you see EU's finest lead by two. I apologize. It's actually praising Solars in that fight up top. Interestingly enough, 
because we know Icy used to take that fight for optics, so that makes sense here. Oh, Marsh takes out Praise. Can he save his life? 1v1, meat shield fight ensues. Solar's with one of the most deadly pistols ever since Gears 3, and he's, he's just going to let his teammates do the work down low. Hydrone takes out Mental, and man, what a performance from Hydrone. He has elevated his gameplay these last three events. Oh, for sure. This has been going back and forth. However, I'm loving what I'm seeing for EU's finest. Someone's actually going to go down as well, and He's looking so, so strong, and being consistent is obviously the key. And right now, at EU's finest, they're showing sh signs of that, that they can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It doesn't feel like they're playing scared. And look at the stalemate, high side on, on Control Tower. Solars and Marsh have been stalemating for at least 30 seconds here, just letting the rest of the map play itself out. They, they know something we don't know. I think Optic Game is going to try something here. What's the mid-round push going to be? Explosive is putting something together. Here Let's see this overhead map and see how Optic is deciding, is deciding to play this here. It looks like, like it is a wide push. You can see that through that nice orbit cam. It is a wide push towards that E hill. Marsh and Solar still in that stalemate up top. Yeah, still going. It's a 4v4 right now. These guys have. This is an uh, interesting round. That control is down. They're going for a bathroom break, it seems. Yeah, two 1v1s and the 3v3 is in a mid round. This is usually an initial. We're going to see a team kill from Explosive. Summons is down, and he's going to miss the kill on Explosive. Explosive gets away with murder right there. But the good thing, Craze is going to clutch up. It Craze versus Explosive. EU GOAT versus the North American GOAT. And Explosive is just dancing around that E-Hill, trying to break it. Yeah, trying his very best. He's going to break it for now. But again, those points have been ticking all this time that feels like it's almost been wasted. And guess what? It's Craze who comes out on top. And he's going to jump right back in, try and get that over to E. Marsh up top wins that one as well. And EU's finest are putting Optic to the test. Summons full red. Crazed is not missing shots right now. Talking about heating up. 20 kills and eight downs for King Crazed himself. Coming from Scotland, and what a performance he has had. So far, so good. They just need to close it out. They've got all the map control. Look at that overhead. Optic Gaming, their pin back, almost with no hope here. 175 has been crossed, and EU's fine. It just needs to hold on for a couple more seconds. However, Explosive and Solar's picking up kills. That's what Explosive does best. He strings together these mid-round pushes. Two dead right now. Three cap is needed for Optic Gaming. All eyes on that E-Hill and that F-Hill. E-Hill's going to be broken. All comes down to the F-Hill. One member goes down. The team fires too strong. Look at EU's finest playing perfect. Team crossing. Shotguns are going to clean up the kills. And EU's finest is going to go up 5-2 to two over Optic Gaming. Wow. Optic Gaming back against the wall here. Yes. They're picking up the first map. It's great. It's all glory for the green wall. But right now, it's all eyes on EU's finest. These boys on your screen and Craze, a player for me, which really highlighted that round over by the incinerator. He was fantastic. Und undoubtedly. That was most, one of the most unique rounds I've seen in Gears Esports. You saw a stalemated 1v1 on Control Tower, a stalemated 1v1 mid-map, and then on that E-Hill, a 3v3 that was won thanks to a, an amazing performance from Crazed after a missed opportunity on a, on a missed roll from Explosive. Crazed single-handedly the MVP of that round going huge with 22 kills. Not one member of Optic even close to 20 kills. Yeah, the, the, there's only two hidden double digits. Wow. That says a lot. What are we seeing here? Optic Gaming, of course, suffering against EU's finest. And EU's finest must have so much hype, so much momentum going into this now, and so much confidence. Will it transition into the, these initials? Yeah, big 2v2 fight up top, Praise and Solars. And then Marsh, Craze gonna rotate high side, he downs one. Craze continues to go on a tear here, as now it's gonna be a one versus one against Solars once again. Expect this one to be stalemated, or is Craze really, truly feeling himself? This time, losing the fight down low is the EU's finest. Well, here he is, Craze is making that move. He's got to drop the smoke, combine the stun, and here it is, shotgun in hand, gonna tag him up. Will he go for the kill? That is the question. Craze is feeling so confident right now. And yeah, Solars is just going to run. He's actually going to bait him. Turns around, they're going to trade kills there. A nice bait from Solars. Those are the small things that Solars has done. That really is different gameplay. Here comes the push. Krim has got caught on impact a few times, trying to go for down players. This time, he's going to wisen up, back out and reset. And now we're going to see an opportunity for EU's finest to get a break here on this E-Hill. What will their break strategy be? Looks like they're sending four over to E-Hill. Here we go. And there you see them backing off. Four players, they could almost jump on it right now. There's one player in the middle here, that's security office. Two players for Optic actually near uh, near the control room, which is probably not where you want to have a lot of your resources, but Incinerator was let off for a second there. 
And what's very interesting about this round, there's no power weapons on the map, so it makes it so difficult for Crazed and Co. to push this fight. You can't go high side to grab a power weapon and then rotate it low side. You can't go mid to grab nades or boom and rotate it over to E-Hill. You have to push into a defensive brick wall, or should I say a green wall that is optic gaming. As Marsh pushing this fight on Praise up top, Praise tagged up, he goes down mental though. Still alive, a back A from Crazed, a double kill from Crazed, and he now has 26 as he's flying for that FL. Meanwhile, Crim is going to take out one. This is a three cap opportunity for EU's finest to go into game point here. All up to Summons. Summons tagged up full red. He's not going to be able to do anything. He gets taken out, but the FL will be broken. Nice job from Optic holding on. Really nice job. They might be in the lead, but EU's finest control the map, control the pace, and just like that, explosive praise. Pick up three and maybe a counter here. Velpsy is going to answer back at a much needed kill for EU's finest, but four dead, only crazed alive. He's going to sit off that incinerator, but he my should've. friend, it looks like they've gone to the home hill. Yeah, he 100% should have waited for that E hill. He could have bought himself at least another 20 seconds or so, but he's going to want to rotate in the fight. It's going to cost him. He's going to get taken out there. So a uncanny misplay right there from Crazed. As he's gonna get taken out. Obviously, not, no way he could have known he was gonna get pushed there, but 1v1 Solars and Marsh. Marsh is gonna come out on top in that one. Krim takes out one, his duo. And now, a four on three opportunity. Make it a four on two for EU's finest. They need to get that E heal and they need to get it quick. Yeah, it needs to be over near the incinerator. You see one player going back and forth. Deathly Craze, who will be staying alive for a little bit, but he's gotta be down. He's oh, gotta be finished no. off, it looks like him. Krim again misses that kill on Crazed. I'm praised, actually. The two cap is in. Look at the score at the top left of your screen. 185 to 183. The E-Hill's going to be broken, though. And that's going to go in Optic's favor. But look at Hydrone overextending to the FL. He's going to break this FL. I don't know if it will be enough. He needs to cap it. Instead, he's going to go ro rotate to E. I think if he capped it, they would have won off of points. But maybe he knows something that I don't. Here comes the E-Hill push. Pistol out for Hydrone. One versus one against Mental. He breaks it, but they don't have a hill to their name. I would have liked to have seen Hydro cap that F hill. Instead, Optic Gaming is going to steal that round. For a straight. Well, take the round. I wouldn't say steal. He controlled the map. Yeah, for sure. a straight to say the least. So that, that's a round which, again, we talk about it as an underdog, as a favorite. That's a round that they potentially could have taken away from Optic Gaming. That would have put them 6 2 in the lead. Instead, now we see a 5 3. A world of difference. This gives Optic that taste of blood. And we know what Optic can do. They go in now, of course, to round 9. and. Things get a little different. We get the boom, of course, with 14 seconds respawn, 27 kills. My goodness, crazy. And I called it. They were so close to that game point when they had three dead and a five on two. And the two members of Optic Gaming, thanks to a huge double kill from Explosive, keeps them alive over on that F hill. A great job by Optic staying alive and then ended up ending up taking the round here. What a great round from Optic. Marsh going to go down early for that boom shot. So looks like Optic is actually able to adapt to the mid-round push, the strategy. Yeah. Looking good here, four in the middle, a lot of smoke, but who picks up the initial solos and mental? That means the boom, and this is dangerous here. Do Optic Gaming gain momentum, not a hill to a name, but knowing Optic, they'll be looking for that triple cap. E is in their favor, F is in their favor. Solos are rotating around now, and with five players dead, one coming off spawn. It's all up to Marsh to break on through. He's gonna be faced by one, we'll find him. He's gonna oh! be in trouble, but my goodness, Marsh, what are you doing? He finds the double. It might be too late, though, that's the question. Can he hold on? He's broken F. He keeps the use finest in Look the game. That. Look at that boom from Solars. He's going to launch that like a rocket across the map. Doesn't connect with that boom. But Marsh just went massive, Momo. You couldn't have called it better. Two kills picked up for him to keep his team in it. One of them was a reaction shot off of a melee from Praised. What a play from Marsh. Here he is on your screen. 17 kills to his name. The problem right now is they're down by a lot of points. I think it's about 65 to 10, if you like. But we do see E going in the hands of EU's finest. They're not out of this, and Marsh may have just given them a lifeline. Yeah, keep in mind that boom shot will be responding in about 30 seconds. So all eyes on that boom. If EU's finest can grab that boom shot, they can secure a triple cap to win this round. That boom will be the deciding factor of this round. Expect teams to converge around that fight in just a moment. Beautiful play for Marsh. Oh, he's missed oh. his shot, though. Missed Location revealed. Now how did he go about it? Ray's looking to rotate round. As you say, you've got to think about that boom, and he's getting tagged up. Oh, red, oh my goodness. Crazy's is going to go down, but he's going to be picked right back up. And again, the revive chain available. Explosive right there, trying to look for the headshot. And Marsh is going to go down, going for that kill. So two, a few times, Marsh and Krim have gotten baited for downs here. Of course, it's a tough situation to be in, but Praise going to get tagged up. Marksa versus Marksa. Explosive is going to keep Phelps' head down. Praise is going to take him out, and that should secure them the boom shot. But look at Hydrone. Staying very sneaky. The marks has been a huge difference maker with it in Explosive's hands. 
Oh my, there you have it. Boom in action and already being capitalized on. Are Optic Gaming available to close this one out? That's the question. Next couple of kills could decide this. Two's already down. Hydro and Krim, they're gonna be coming up to spawn soon. A big fight up top though. Craze has been feeling himself for 27 kills. I don't blame him, but he's rolling into trouble. Will Praise be able to get one better of him? 1v1 still going down, but in the midst of all this, the points are going up for Optic. Look at this, they're gonna send two up top to kill Craze and someone shooting him from low side. For everyone trying to kill Craze right now with the performance he's having. And this is gonna go Optic's way. I mean, Boomshot was in their hands. They won that boom fight, and that was the difference maker. Thanks to some big plays from Explosive. Praised was down, actually, and Marsh got down by Explosive as it marks. I, I don't think we've been spectating Explosive enough to see how much of an impact he's had on this map, but Explosive is playing so incredibly well, despite what the stat, stat line might say. Well, there you have it, 2 3 and counted. Marsh does find the doubles. He's going to pad those stats a little bit, but not going to affect the round score. Optic Gaming now just one round behind a 5 to 4. You can almost feel the pendulum swinging halfway through that round, Momo, in Optic's favor. The momentum being gained, and Optic is starting to heat up. We all know what can happen when these five slayers, these five talents, all heat up on one team. Kind of crazy to think. And you're starting to use finest chair right now. You were up against Optic. You're feeling yourself. You've lost a couple of rounds back to back, and you start to almost feel it slip through your fingers here. They are still in the lead. Craze still dropping 27. We've got 21 for Hydron as well. Three of the players. Free use fine is still, in fact, four. Under 200 seconds time dead, but Optic Gaming live to fight another day. The story continues. Can Optic Gaming fight their way back into this one? And I said, despite what the stats say, but look at Explosive's performance. I blinked and he had 19 kills and 17 downs. He has turned it up these last few rounds. As almost all members of Optic Gaming now in double digits. Crazy gonna take out Mental in the 1v. So a 3v3 fight when the dust is settled here. And look at that, Marksa from Explosive. Unbelievable performance from him. He's gonna fly at Craze now. Yeah, he's got 19 kills, 18 down, 20 kills now to his name. Is he gonna survive? No, Craze is gonna shut him down here, but we are gonna see Craze go down. Solos pick up that boom as well. With three players down here, it is lying at a 4v2. Difficult position, but up to gaming. How do they act upon this one again? These respawns, they're getting higher and higher. Your lives are getting more important as time goes on. But for me, like you said, explosive stat line over the last couple of rounds has been incredible. Yep, two dead right now, but boom shot in the hands of Solars. He's gonna stay sneaky over here. Marsh has no idea that he's there with that boom. This should be an easy kill. Five on three right now for EU's finest. They do have two down, but it's hard to capitalize on this boom shot staring you in the face. Solars gonna rotate it over. Picks up that boom, and actually a team kill on mental. That's costly, so that's negated. Is now explosive pushing this fight against Craze. He gets taken out. Yeah, Crazy's gonna find a kill that's really big, and he's still got the boom shot as well. Capitalizes on that one, nice easy kill. However, F being challenged. You've got to get in there, and they will do. However, that's a great push me use finest. I love what they did there. The boom team kill didn't help anyone. Now they're at a disadvantage here. Five on three, and look how Optic plays their numbers. They know they have the advantage, and they're flying at this E Hill to take their numbers so incredibly well. That's really a difference in Optic. If you give them an inch, again, they will take that mile. And it's showing exactly why right now. Praise trades things out with Hydro, and again, a couple of kills could change the game. Explosive finds Phelpsy. Praise finds Hydro, and here we go. Three put on timers, make it four potentially. He's going to be taken down, he being Krim, and Optic Gaming now, like you said, charging at them, trying to find it. Marsh, oh my goodness, Marsh has found another double, but he will go down eventually. May have bought himself some time, but again, Marsh coming up clutch with a big double kill. Yeah, that double kill from Marsh is huge. And Craze could have snuck away up top right there to control room. Instead, he decides to push towards E-Hill with his teammates, actually. Smart call, because Hydron is breaking that E-Hill. Craze cannot get a kill here. He's going to get taken out. Great job by Craze to avoid the one shot. And now, five on four. I know it's a slight lead, but a five on four means that there's a two on one somewhere on the map. Find that two on one. I think it's on Solars, as Boomshot will be up in the next five seconds here on that go. timer. Marsh takes out Solars. Boomshot has respawned. He's going to pick it up, and he's going to pick up a kill on Mental. And this is a perfect opportunity, but again, EU's finest, you need to close this round. There are two dead right now, and you have a boom shot in your hands, and you have one member full red. Explosive gets taken out here. But EU's finest not gonna capitalize. They're gonna back out and reset here. Frustrating for them, he saw Explosive. He got a kill just before he got taken down, but the score is tallying up. This is looking good for EU's finest. They may not be getting the triple cap right now, but Optic Gaming, we know what they're capable of. Can they push 5-5? Five, five? Are they gonna be the ones to really turn this round on their head? Or do EU's finest close it out? Summons has gone down. 
There you go, Crypt takes out one. He's gonna get traded out though. Four on four fight. Solars goes down, Marsh is also down. Does he bait the kill? Crazy instead decides to play it wide. He knows they went off of one. They're gonna turtle up. So rather than going for the win when they had a five on three or a four on two, they decide to turtle up in their home hill. 207 is that magic number. Someone's gonna get in the hill. And that is going to be a break. It's all up to Hydro on the flank. He takes out one. Krim comes on the flank as well. They just need a cap. All they need is one point, and they are going to get it. Yes, they are. EU's finest game point to force a game number three. And I love what they did as well. Out of the blue as well, you saw E being depleted and taken over. We saw one player from EU's finest track back and just play the real, real safe game here. EU's finest one round away from sending this to a map three fallout. Optic Gaming, the first time challenge really. We heard praise that man on your screen right there. Snub Echo Fox saying, this is not a test. Well, I'll tell him right now, this is a test for him. Is he gonna pass? Couldn't have said it better myself. Praise in that interview also said, you have the five best players in the game. No one has the slaying power that we have. He used fine as proving that these five who are, are so incredibly gifted at this game. I mean, and the reality is, they don't have the opportunity to scrim as much as these American teams do. Oh, They're yeah. in a different time zone. The fact that they still have done what they've done, it is, it is case study worthy. It is remarkable. Pure talent on this team. I'm just hoping we get this map three. I want to settle this between two beasts, this winner bracket final. One of these two teams will be in that grand final, potentially will be your MLG New Orleans champions. However, that is in the near distance. On your screen is Marsh, he's trying to book himself a spot in map number three for now. And explosives down, this is great, but Mental's picked up a kill elsewhere. The respawn's so, so high, this is gonna be punishing. Summons full red, nothing he can do there. The boom shot is still up and available. Right now, there are four members dead of Optic Gaming. Praise is the last alive and a 1v against Hydrone. And Praise is gonna get taken down. The respawns are coming. Solars is up, but you have a boom shot. The boom is gonna miss. And now, EU's finest. Will they force a game three? The Insane is also gonna miss here. Needs to connect for this boom shot is Marsh. And he's not gonna get the kill. They're gonna back out. I, I almost like what he did though. He plays it a little bit safer. It's almost like a panic. He shoots that boom and misses, doesn't connect. Right now they've got all the map control. You're playing as the wow. better team. You play to your confidence right now. And Marsh knows he's still got the boom shot in. He can dictate the pace. One more push, one more kill. The boom comes through. Mental's gonna go down and he is fighting. Trying to lock that spot in map number three. My goodness, everyone's getting taken down, but Solus, he's going to enter as well. Breaks it one more time, still stays alive, and this game is not over just yet. Brian Solers just went huge to save that round. Hydro oh on the play. He's going to get taken out. The downs come through, but the revive chain comes through as well. This D-Hill fight has been utter madness, and EU's finest is not able to close this out when they had the perfect, picture-perfect opportunity. They have to lead 90 points. Off. However, we know what a team like the Green Wall can do. E is going to be lit up here by Phelps. He's going to buy EU's finest a little bit of time. It's a 100-point lead and counting. This is EU's finest this round. Everything points to them to book themselves a map in this series. However, Optic Gaming, they've got a wall, a mountain to climb here. I know the score says this should be EU's finest round, but you gave Optic a wide open opportunity. All it takes is one ace, and there's 18 second respawn timers. So a wipe of EU's finest means Optic Gaming will win this round. Instant in the hands of Marsh, Boomshot respawning in 15 seconds here. One member of EU's finest goes down. Marsh is completely useless over at this E hill, and he's going to be full red. Uh oh. You can almost feel the nerves uh -oh. right now for Marsh. And he's going to get taken out. Away. Look at the kill feed. Summons mental explosive. Three players go down, make it four. And this is where Optic Gaming compounds. They're jumping on a huge 1v1. Krim needs to stay alive. He needs to challenge. But it's been going down. He's going to have the 2v1 as well. Not looking good for Krim as he's going to fall. And the domination potential coming in. Are Optic Gaming going to do it? Are they going to upset? We see Summons and explosive go off. And that's it. They bite back. And Praise knows what a crucial round that is. EU's finest. They had it. The fingertip was on that third map, but right now they've oh got to feel like that was theirs to the take and they throw it away. Undoubtedly, I would have liked to have seen Krim in that scenario ignore the E Hill fight, overextend, break the away hill, and be a nuisance. By doing that, you force one or two members of Optic Gaming back to their spawn to, to track you, which opens up the opportunity for your team to push E Hill and to push your home hill. Instead, Krim tries to fight a 1v2. He forces an awkward fight. He gets taken out, and Optic Gaming has an opportunity to win three straight here. You do not give Optic that opportunity. You have to close against Optic when you can. They had two boom shots. Marsh missed the first. 
and they were not able to finish that round despite only one or two members of Optic being alive. And the amount of adren adrenaline going into this round here, the boom is still available, the marks are still on the map here. Optic Gaming, they push this to a round 13 and uh, you start to get a little nervous here, however, like a quick update there, Ghost Gaming 7-2, that's going to a map 3 on Bravo, you can check it all out. However, on Alpha right now, we have one of the best games so far, Optic Gaming is being tested finally. Oh and now my Grim God. puts two to bed, Craze finds one, March is going to find another, these are 20 second respawns, surely this is going to be where he used finest, put it to bed. It needs to be, but guess who's alive, it's still Summons, who's one of the most annoying players in the game. Again, only one member alive that summons. There's no reason uh, EU's finest does not take this round again with their numbers advantage. Summons gonna be tagged up full red. They're gonna backtrack for summons. He goes down. They need to finish this E hill, this FL fight. They need support there. Boom shot is taken. I think Marsh had boom shot and he got taken up by Nades, I believe. Anyone else had boom shot? No. Marsh had boom and got taken out. And again, Optic Gaming can bounce back. Initials, initials, initials. EU's finest are winning those first fights every single time here. However, they do have the two hills. It means nothing. We've said it before, Optic Gaming. They can just come through here like a train, take three, four down, and they will pounce. They will punish you for it. But you've got to credit EU's finest for what they're doing right now. They are in the lead. They do have the hills. Can they close it out? Explosive down. Not very easy to get that kill, though. He's going to go for it anyways. He's going to pick it up. Phelpsy with a huge play on explosive. That's your five on four. Need to play smart, play your angles. You can't let mental do mental things in that fight. And they're gonna try and isolate Craze. Craze downs one, he needs some help. Hydrone is gonna stay alive here by the tip of his tongue. And now three dead for Optic Gaming. Make that four dead. Solar's the only member alive. And surely EU's finest will close this one out against Solar's. They have to. This is it, they're jumping on the hill. No one in sight, it's only Solar's. He's gonna go down as well as the F kill comes in. EU's finest, the break doesn't go down. And Optic Gaming, has been challenged, they have been tested. We're going to map three. EU's finest come out with the goods. Wow, what an unbelievable game number two. One of the best I've seen. And man, this EU's finest roster is scary. Despite quite a few errors in team strategy and an inability to close, they still win. Can you imagine an EU's finest roster if they sharpen the knife a little bit and perfect some of those mistakes? They are a force to be reckoned with. Fallout, I think they're already there. Somewhere Vincent is smiling. I'm gonna throw some stats at you. Round nine, craze, 27 kills. You know who else also had 27 kills? Explosives and mental combined. Now, I always preach mental fortitude, and that's exactly what this EU's finest roster has. In round eight, Craze push mental and praise at the same time to get a double kill. He didn't hesitate, he didn't think twice, and that's what you need to do in order to show Optic Gaming that you're not a pushover. Yeah, completely agree. They outperformed Optic in every single category as it relates to individual skill. Their yeah. shotguns are blazing hot, and that says something. We said Optic has the five best players in the game. I gotta argue otherwise, as my man Benson is sitting here smiling. <laughs> Benson is cheesing. <laughs> <laughs> no, another stat that our analyst brought up to me is that Optic Gaming, they're 100% on this map. They haven't and, lost. Right, Right. And what about EU's finest? Now, EU's finest, they were actually at a 25% win on this map. And they That's come out, they beat, they beat Optic. They haven't, Optic has not dropped this map during this event. Now, going into this next one, we're going to have Reclaim. Reclaim is going to be an... <laughs> that's going to be... A, it's going to be a bloodbath. Insanity, insanity. Yeah. Oh. I'm telling you, I had to pick my heart up, up off the ground a few times watching that match. I saw my man lose it next to me. <laughs> I love oh, it. my God. Man, some of the, the initials, like, I, I was... I was being driven mad almost because they're winning the initials, but they're just not applying the proper pressure at the right time. And they're giving Optic Gaming this a little bit of foothold, and you can't do that. John put it perfectly. You cannot let mental do mental things. And you gotta keep that pressure up. Yeah, I, I agree. And the frustrating thing for me was watching that game, and you won't hear me say this very often, but I think Optic should have lost by more. Oh, yeah. I yeah. really do. Those yeah. rounds were coming in, EU's finest were letting it slip. Optic Gaming, they were almost being given that little taste of blood. They pounced on it. They've got a, I'd say two rounds in particular where EU's finest could have closed it out. And you could hear almost, I, I could hear the frustration in John's voice. <laughs> they just should have been going to EU's finest. That's the former like, player in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I it's apologize. beautiful to see, but I, I will say Optic Gaming, you, you have to credit that clutch factor. 
and do. this is Optic Gaming just doing Optic Gaming things. This yeah. is what they do. However, they are tested on the main stage. They are pushed to a map three. And for me, this is what Gears Esports is. This is what it comes down to. These winner bracket final games are crazy. And one map determines who goes on to that grand final. And the thing is, you got to think about it. The first team to really do anything to Optic Gaming in season two was this EU's final squad. Can they do it again? They just they just showed us that they could. One yeah. thing that I, there was an opportunity that you guys actually pointed out was Hydron on that rotation on that F hill. Instead of just capping that home hill, right, he goes to fight that E. Let your team that's coming off spawn, let them take that fight. You've already overextended. You're in your opponent's home hill. Stay there, get the points. I feel like they could have actually come out on top with that round if he would have just kind of been a little bit more patient. Yes. And just know where your team is and know what you need to be doing at that time. Yeah, and quite a few of those. Momo, you mentioned it. That, that map easily should have been 7-2, seven, 7-3, seven, maybe 7-1. Seven, seven, oh. Honestly, <laughs> so many rounds and so many opportunities. But again, I don't know about that. Yeah, about that much. You're going to have yourself. 7-0 and a half. We're crit we were critical, but again, it goes to show how skilled this EU's finest roster is. I think two things there. EU's finest, with a, a little bit of, of inconsistency and some opportunities, did what they just did. Yeah. It also shows that Optic, that this says how good they are. It also shows that Optic has quite a few weaknesses. They are not there yet in terms of chemistry. You saw sometimes okay. explosive pushing, and his team it was his team wasn't there behind him. The timing was a little bit off. It's not that they're bad. It's just that, that that's what three weeks of practice will do to you. Their, their, their uh, chemistry I, I, is I not there yet. I just point that out myself. You want to keep in mind they've been together for effectively three weeks. Phenomenal talent on the roster, but it takes time to kind of build that synergy and, yeah. and build that trust. Yep. Yep. You can see it. Now, down the line real quick before the tower breaker map starts, predictions. Whew. I'm stick I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, first. I'm gonna stick to what I, I originally said, I think 2-1 up to <laughs> gaming. Alright. As much as I would love a use finest to win. Spit it out, Cleaner. He used finest. I, I, um, right now, I am feeling after watching that match, if they can keep it close, keep it tight knit like they were, they've cleaned things up tremendously in this event. And if they stay well polished, and they can give Optic a damn good run. All right, guys, here we go. Tirebreaker game, EU's finest in Optic Gaming. Fallout and Momo, take it away. Okay, Fallout, you're not getting away with that one. Give me a prediction. <laughs> what are you thinking? Man, I thought I had it. <laughs> Belly threw me a life fly or a lifeboat. I want to hear it. We've got EU's finest for cleaner. Yeah. I've gone Optic Gaming's way. Yep. This is honestly, I, I've, uh, I've pr predicted a lot of matches. This is probably one of the hardest matches I've had to predict. EU's finest is great on reclaimed. I'm, I'm feeling the butt. But I'm a, I'm a man <laughs> of my word, and for that reason, that reason alone, I gotta stick with Optic Gaming. But EU's finest is great on reclaimed, so it's gonna be a tough one. Oh, I just want give me another round 13. That's what I wanna see. Smoke's going down. We're already into the action. Three kills going down. I'll tell you what, mental. Picking up a double, always nice to see. However, if you're a Green Fort Wall Chan, or Green Wall Chan, a Green Wall fan, get in the chat, let us know. Span those emotes and we'll see exactly what the green wall can do here. But yep. on your screen is mental. He's looking for that lance of fire. That support roll will be coming in. Yep. And get the green wall in here. They need your energy. They need your support. Optic update. Where are you at right now? Optic gaming. One map away from either sitting in the championship finals or having to grind through that loser's bracket final. Mental on your screen still alive and kicking. Three kills to his name is starting hot. Ooh. That's four. Okay. This is... I was... Uh, Gonna point something out in, the, in between maps, and that was one question, one question only. Where's Mental? You didn't see him show up in map number two, in my opinion, the way we're used to it. And we need him to step up here. Man, four kills already. He's looking right back like the robot he is in map number three. I don't love this confidence. Four kills to his name, pushing forward, putting damage in. Hello, Phelpsy. Goodbye, Phelpsy. It's as simple as that. It's like three baby steps to the goal, and we see Mental just going around. His teammates are putting kills in as well. He's looking for number six, and he's going to take it. He's going to put oh, an boy. extra shot in just for good luck as well. Mental, six kills. This is an angry, angry Mental, and you can see it. A little bit of a teabag there. He is pissed that they lost that map number two, that they're in the situation that he is, and they, he's about to unleash the beast right now. As Optic Gaming with a three-cap domination opportunity here, and it looks like they will secure it. Well, they're gonna try and break a bit, but nope, not gonna happen. You can crawl on in after we win the round, he says, as he smacks him in the face with a button gun. And that's a near perfect round for Optic Gaming. They win the initial. Look at the kills category. Six yeah. kills for Mental already. Oh, and you can see it on their face. They <laughs> are pissed that they lost that second map. And that's ultimately why I stuck with that Optic prediction is EU's Finest won that second map, but they showed, again, a lot of errors, a lot of mistakes. I, I think you, you can't do that. Maybe you know, they got away with it in map number two because they played so incredibly well. But you got to wonder, can you do it twice in a row against Optic Gaming? It's tough to say. They really got to play perfect if they want to win this one. Yeah, the experience may show through on this one, but we don't want to rule it out. Ooh. 
We saw, obviously, the first two maps, they started, you know, 1-0, 1-1. And then it started uh, to get a little hand out of hand on map one. Map two, though, you guys just saw it absolutely incredibly. If you're just joining us, it's all tied up. We are going to a map number three. This is where we are going to give our uh, first grand finalist a chance to uh, get in that main stage, maybe have a chat with Farouk as well and tell the opposing teams what they're able to expect from them in that grand final. But round two coming up straight away. We're going to have an Enforcer placed here. Very interesting. Something we don't see often in the meta. High drone and Explosive both going to pick up that Enforcer. Clearly they've been practicing maybe in some horde here as Explosive and High drone using that Enforcer close range. And then High drone says, you know what? I'm just going to go back to my shotgun. I'm going to stick with what works. Trust the old shotgun. Well, there you go. Mental's the one to pick it up again with a kill. Uh, Marsh was a player who really lived up. Not a kill to his name just yet. We are going to see Phelpsy try his very best, but he's under fire by a couple of players there. Again, who is it to finish him off? None other than Mental. And Krim actually wins the 1v against Summons right there. So interesting to see uh, Krim playing that 1v1 spot. Maybe more of a 1v1 player than I had anticipated. As, uh, as opposed to Hydron playing low side. Of course, Hydron I think is great in that B-Hill fight, so I like that call. Looking at the overhead, full B control here for Optic Game. And again, that height advantage really does give them so much knowledge of the players and where they are and what they're doing. Krim on your screen though. Just trying to get some information, maybe guiding that towards his teammates. But the problem right now is his teammates are outnumbered here. And we are gonna see my drone. Push on forward, Lance Fire going down. He has taken a few bullets himself. Phelps and Mental picking up kills elsewhere. Mental, my goodness, I need to see the stats of this man already. But Hydrone, he's going to be the one to fall. Marsh is available, maybe to pick him up. And there you have it. He's going to be alive and kicking. And Hydrone will go once more, but only for a little bit. Wow, Optic Gaming is looking perfect right now. Their initial strats are pristine. Their setup is impossible to break. Optic Gaming looking impeccable in this second, in this third map here. Let's see if they can keep that up, or if EU's Finest can find some of that same magic we saw in map number two. Two down, Phelpsy and Krim. Optic Gaming, they already secured secured round number one. Melntil has 11 kills to his name. And right now, we're going to see another domination come in for the boys of Optic Gaming. The championship Sunday jerseys are on. It's all white here for these guys. And Phelpsy and company are going to be trying to stop that green wall. Yeah. Right now, there's a loss for words. Honestly, that map right there, though, or that round right there, they, the initial was not horribly lost, so I wouldn't lose too much faith. We know that EU's Finest likes to place Boom Shot quite often, but now it looks like they're going to block something out. I think they're still confident in that fight up top, and I would be too. I think it's been a close one. Uh, they just haven't gotten any control yet, but if they win an initial, they can take their advantages, they'll be in a good spot. And, and this is obviously what Cleaner was saying as well. You know, sometimes they put the Boom a little bit early on map number one, while, rather than just kind of go off, the, off their own back. Shout out to Waldo, of course, guiding you through all the action. Our observer here for the winner bracket final. Amongst a few more, which you'll hear us giving some credit to. But right now, we're going to be Optic Gaming 2, EU's Finest 0 in map number 3. Our final map of the series here. Who is going to take it? Let's jump on board with Phelpsy for round 3. Quick stats update a bit. Again, big shout out to Prodigy and the team that's providing these updates. Optic Gaming has yet to play Reclaimed in this tournament. Meanwhile, EU's Finest has a 50% win rate on Reclaimed in this event. Prodigy, another stat for you. I've not cast it. Reclaimed, I've been waiting, so thank you. <laughs> uh, we get to see it. It's a lot of fun, for sure. We've seen a lot of Forge Blitz. We've seen a lot of Foundation. But right now, it's all down to Reclaimed. This is all that matters here. Krim on your screen. He's going to roll around into trouble. One's going to go down, but it's not going to be enough here. Explosive is going to pick him right back up. And the Enforcer living up to the end name. Mental He's playing with such aggression here. He's finally going to get taken out. But look at this flank from Explosive. Playing as General Ram himself. Takes out two on the flank. We are now 3-0 up Optic Gaming. They are just running away with this one in game number three. <laughs> Praise makes me laugh, man. He's getting hyped. He's on the end there. He's pissed. I'm glad he's not in the middle. He'd be pushing people out of their chairs at this point. <laughs> he needs a little bit more space, that man does. And the crowd getting the hype for Optic Gaming right now. He's finest. They have got a big fan base themselves here, but Green Wall, very hard to beat. You think it's the crowd, but I turn around and it sounds like an entire crowd. It's five players on Ghost Gaming getting amped up 2-0 to zero right now over Echo Fox in game number three. We'll keep providing those updates, but Ghost Gaming is steamrolling in map two and map three of that series. It is all kicking off. We're seeing these map threes. This is bound to happen when you have such talent here and you get to this championship Sunday. 
Mental, Soulless. Oh, Mental's just got another as well. That's going to be four down, and this is dangerous here as we see Optic Gaming already 3 0 up. Mental's pushing forward. 13 kills to his name. You said we hadn't seen Mental in map number two. Well, he's back. You see, I like that call from EU's finest. Ooh, it's supposed to get caught out there. But EU's finest fight was not working up top. They decide, hey, definition of insanity. Let's change things up here. Let's place the fight low by placing a power up in low side. And even that doesn't work. Everything's going up to gaming's favor right now. But we're going to finally see a round where we can slow down a little bit. Looks like for the first time, maybe not a three cap domination coming in quick here. It's been a fast one. We blink and it's 3 0 up. So right now, in this situation, down two hills to one. Typically, the play is pushing for B hill, but there is an opportunity to push home and away. It looks like. EU's Finest is opting for a home and away hill push, but what that means is Explosive and Co. have a huge angle on you from that B-Hill perch and from high side. So you're going to be pushing into Lancers, and those are laser-sharp Lancers from Optic Gaming. Just reloading downs here, and you said it yourself, Paul, like we've been able to almost take a breath. You know, slow things down, reflect on the game. And I think EU's finest need to draw these rounds out a little bit longer. Otherwise, they're going to be dead and buried in the next 10, 15 minutes at this rate. But Hydrone just tucking himself away in the corner here, trying to get some information. At this time, though, EU's finest has got one hill. Uh, what do they do right now? B, obviously, such a hard one to crack. They're losing the points. The time is ticking. How do we use Finance to get back into this? You need a, a, a well-planned break strategy. All five smokes need to be thrown as screens and as stuns, a combination of both, to push either that C hill or B hill, whichever one you opt to kind of do. But each team has predetermined smoke spots when they make these breaks happen. And you want to see that come through as a nice flank here from Hydro on Explosive. Explosive getting caught out for a second time here. Here comes the push. Hydra on the flank, but Praise is, I think it's Praise, is so good in that bowl. He's one of the best players in that spot, and they put some good shots into Hydra. Here we go, still in round number four. This is a very, very long round, but the time is ticking. 160's been broken right now, and Optic Gaming, they're looking so, so strong. They're just almost holding this form. They know exactly what is needed of them. Praise and Solar's up top, Explosive down by C. But I can see these players of EU's finest starting to collapse. The smoke and stuns are going to come through. Can they break in? Phelps, he does have that boom as well. Two to one as the split goes down and the kills come in. Crims fell for now, but he may be able to oh. be picked up. He will be. And that's going to be summons to fall. Well, the problem is 200 has been reached. They need a triple gap or they need to neutralize. And keep in mind, 207 is that magic number. Once you get to 207, because it takes three seconds to break a hill, you will win the game. And of course, they're not able to get in by 207. So Optic Gaming goes up four to zero. Completely dominating, not much to be said. And I would actually like to take a quick moment to thank all of our staff at the Coalition for supporting this event in such a major way. Of course, Xbox as well. We have Xbox in the house, we have the Coalition in the house. A big shout out to Ryan Cleveland, the lead, lead multiplayer designer for Gears of War, attending his first esports event in a very long time. He's a huge fan of esports himself. He watches every event from home. He had a chance to attend this one. It's been amazing to have him in the audience, as well as Otto, Peter and the rest of the Coalition staff. Of course, those watching at home as well. Big shot to Tay, Michael, and everyone watching at home. They're fantastic so far, and trust me, it's your first event. It is not over yet. Four to zero for Optic Gaming. We've got a couple more games to bring you away here on Alpha on Bravo. News just in, obviously, the, the, the noise that we heard before was a triple cap come through from Ghost Gaming when Echo Fox was sat on 209. That is what really is. Gears Esports, those nail-biting finishes. Right now, though, Optic Gaming are not allowing this map three to be that way. They are ruining the hopes and dreams of the Europeans right now as four go down. It's all up to Phelpsy, and this is not what you want to see. Can we just call that Mental's corner? I think Mental just claimed that spot. He played that perfectly on left-hand disadvantage. Someone comes in for the right-hand chuck, not able to connect, and the three cap is going to come through. Optic Gaming is back to pure form here. Another day in the office for Solars. Praise is getting hyped, and Optic is playing near-perfect Gears of War right now, looking so incredibly strong. So, so good to see, but EU's finest. From map one and map two, we saw, you know, hope. We saw, you know, back and forth we saw even engagements a little bit closer what is the is this the, the map that's just favoring optic gaming is just the positioning I, I i don't know why you find this kind of fell off we saw obviously before the game you know cleaner was kind of really rooting for these guys and getting behind these guys but what's going wrong honestly nothing is going their way look at the kills right now barely cracking five kills are 
EU's finest. Meanwhile, on the flip side, what's going wrong? One person, that's mental. He turned up in I game number three. 18 kills to his name. He is the MVP of Gears of War 4, and he is proving why. I think he heard you. I think he did. I think he got real pissed when someone said he did not turn up map two. He said, okay, well, let, let me show you what I got. He doesn't even need the boom. He's going to let his teammates take that one, and he's going to have a one way one corner. Usually, that goes in his favor. Kill feed, red. Red, blood red, as we see EU's finest put the controllers down almost. That it, how long was that round? 35 seconds tops. Back to back wow. Not, Look, even Mental's getting back a little back vocal back here. He was he was even pissed after that game two loss. It's like, we need this game to go longer. I need more kills. I am not happy. <laughs> 20 is not enough. I, but I mean, what a, what a guy himself just turning up. The man himself, known for some crazy, crazy gear stuff. He'll be looking to lift that trophy at the end of this, but right now it is final map, potentially final round, 19 to his name. Crazy stat line to say the least. Yeah. And, uh, let's take a look at the overall map and see this initial strat. EU's finest has 20 kills. Unbelievable. Mental, Mental has, has as 19. many as all five of them almost. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Mental, who are you? Unbelievable performance. Mental from St. Louis. Arguably the best player oh in Gears goodness. of War 4. He's going to keep popping off. We're just going to stay with him because Mental officially has more kills than Don't all do it. of EU's finest. He's just running at him right now. He's probably got, right now, he has more kills than EU's finest. And we're seven rounds in. Fact. <laughs> How many times can you say that in any eSport? That Too many crazy. times. For him, at least. My goodness. This is just not looking good. EU's finest. I mean, yes, you're down 6 0. You've lost all momentum. The boys of Optic Game, it's starting to run away with it. You've got to try something, change something up. But I feel for the guys, it's so, so hard to get back into a game like this when someone like Mental or Optic Game, and they're just going off. They're controlling the game. And again, we do see EU's finest pick up a couple of kills, credit to them. But they're two hills down and they're back against the wall. They've got to go for that E hill. As I want to see EU's finest string this momentum into a round win here by pushing E and D simultaneously. They're going to do the exact split that they need to do. All you need to do is break that away hill to get some points back in your favor. Rotate E, secure that E hill, and then hold the two hill setup. Keep in mind here, this is the first round of the second half. So player respawn timers are only 10 seconds. You want to play more for hill control and kills than you want to play for the three cap domination. And that's exactly what EU's finest is doing here, playing incredibly well. So far, so this good. This round, at least. Yeah, I, I mean, at least they've, they've managed to get back in. They could have got bodied in the first 45 seconds once again, and uh, OptiGaming would have been chuckling their way through to a grand final. You know what? They may be at the end of this round, but EU's finest are trying to just put the foot on the brake, slow things down, hold things off, two go down either side. F is being changed hands here. Optic Game is still in the lead, but EU's finest, they're taking control of that home hill for now. So despite this strong mid-round mid effort, they're still behind by 10 points because of a great start from Optic. They gotta keep this up. They gotta basically do what they just did again. Easier said than done. Flank's gonna come through. Nice shot by Hydrone. Again, having someone's name in that fight. 1v1 now, Hydrone. Gonna get taken out by Praise. Nice job, good roadie strafe. And roadie push from Praise there to pick up that fight. Or that kill, sorry. On board with Marsh now, flanking explosives. He's gonna get taken out. Pick up kills go down. Priest is the only one for Optic Gaming on this time, and the problem being the time is ticking. And Optic Gaming might not need the triple cap, but if they reach that 210 mark, it is all but over here. This is map number three. If you just joined us, Optic Gaming leads six to zero. They have the hills, they have the kills, they have everything going for them right now. EU's finest, they need to, uh, to muster up something special. And they need to do it quick. Of course, the gondola is ringing now at this point. Here we go. The gong is dinging, and here comes the last 15 seconds of this match. Match point right now. Phelpsy grabs one, but Hydro is pushing into so much pain from this Optic squad. Two kills can be picked up here, and that's not going to be enough. They're not going to get in the hill, and just like that, Optic Gaming with a 7-0 sweep in game number three is going to lock this up. What a performance from Optic, and what a way to respond to that adversity. My goodness. You've been pushed map one, you've been pushed map two, but map three, there is only one team on that main stage, and that is Optic Gaming. And that's a team that's been together for three weeks. Three weeks. I mean, their individual performance speaks for itself. Mento, at a point in time in the last round, had more kills than the entire EU's finest squad, as Momo was saying. So, EU's finest, they lost every round, and they were given the opportunity to put down anything they wanted. Boom shot, sniper. Did that help them? Nothing helped.
Nothing. Yeah. Uh, every, everything that we were talking about previously that EU's Finest was doing well, it just kind of crumbled. You, know, it, you just had a spearhead that is Optic Gaming just running through them, and there was absolutely nothing they could do. Yeah, so moving along with Optic Gaming, what should we expect from them in the final? More, more of the same. <laughs> more of the same. I want to know who they're playing in the finals. That's going to be interesting. So on the other end, EU's Finest, they're going to go into loser's bracket right what now on our Bravo quick. station. Make sure you Ooh. tune into that. That's we have good. Ghost Gaming down 2-3 against Echo Fox. I'm pretty sure they're going to play the winner of that. Oh, wow. I, I, I love, I, I love yeah. that action. Behind me, three to two is the score right now. Echo Fox is down 2 0, 1 3 straight. Man, that's a great one. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, we're going to send this off to Farouk on the main stage with Optic Game. Down here, right now on the main stage with Mental, probably the MVP there in that last map there. I mean, you at one point you had almost you had more kills than the entire EU's finest team. Tell me what switch turned on for you in that, in that last map. Well, uh, I was playing really well first map, uh, going to second map, Forge. I play more of the home um, home hill side and like I'm not really into the fight. So, but they put a boom down. It kind of caught us off a little bit, just because the the marks of players like getting a lot of shots in whatever. And uh, it was just like overall like not a good map for us. So, I was kind of a little angry going to the third map and just turned the switch. And when you get angry, you get you get you get mental, huh? Yeah, you get mental. <laughs> All right, now listen, you guys, you, you, like you said, you dropped your first map of the tournament, but listen, you guys always talk about your aggression and how you guys need to make sure you stay aggressive, stay aggressive. Is it a matter of if, if a team is trying to beat you, is it a matter of them matching your aggression or do they need to surpass it? And how do you guys stay on top? Well, usually when teams try to match our aggression, um, we just that's when we beat them like like seven or like we just did. So. But yeah, uh, putting marks is down, forge, and like the boom shot, that was like more of a passive aggressive, which we weren't like that great on that fight. But going to the third map, like y you have to get aggressive on that map for claim. So that's where we're best at. All right, you guys took out Echo Fox earlier, Echo Fox and Ghost Game, and they locked up right now in one map each. Who do you want to see next here in the grand final? Uh, I want to play Echo Fox again. Uh, I feel like they had a bad series against us. And, you know, I seen Kenny rivalry, uh, Echo Fox rivalry, and I just want to play them. All right, good luck. We're going to send it back to you guys. You Optic go. Gaming, they're moving on. I like that. I love he, that. He, he's shooting right for his ex-teammates, right off the bat. I love everything about that yeah. interview, from his disse the dissection of the game, yeah. breaking down almost exactly what we saw happen, a a angry mental. Mental gets mad. Mental, <laughs> mental gets mad. mad. No, that was a thing. He finally admits it for the first <laughs> time. Mental bought himself. That was an awesome he's interview. He's so calm about it, too. He's just like, you know, I was angry, so I flipped the switch. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> it's that easy. And I love the but way he broke down the game, too. He time. admits, and very humble in admitting that second map is not a good fight for them. He didn't like the marks as being placed. He didn't like that boom shot fight. So it goes to show Optic does have some weaknesses. If you can find those weaknesses on certain maps and with certain weapon placements, perhaps right. you can change the meta in your favor. And the US Finals was unable to find that weakness there in the tire <laughs> But ladies and yeah. gentlemen, I want to see.